Hi everyone, welcome to Fan Mail Friday and it's a fan mail that continues to spread love and joy throughout the whole month of February. I'm really excited to show you all the things that have come uh, and there's some really amazing creations. Let's start with Elizabeth and her beautiful Valentine's greetings. So pretty with the die cut heart and even the interior sentiment uh, insert is all colored, beautifully put, put together. Uh, and then I have my friend, Miss Mary Beth and her Valentine. Look at that, love that big old rose and the Valentine in the center. So pretty, it looks like you've been crafting up a storm, Miss Mary Beth. Uh, and uh, oh, this is so pretty, the, let me show you this. Uh, so this, I think it's Kathleen, yes. Yes, okay, so Kathleen, first of all, sent a, a, a debossed envelope or embossed with the die and custom stationery that she made, which is so, so, so pretty. And the Valentine goes with it. Looks like it's something from the 1800s. So, so perfectly done. And it, it, the, yes, that uh, letter came on the inside in the pocket. So pretty, okay. Loved it, Kathleen, that's just so nice. Uh, and she's a lefty, she said, that's oh, fun, we have to stick together. <laughs> uh, and this is from Jan, and so pretty happy Galentine's Day. I love that everybody decided that that was the sticker for me. And oh gosh, we make a great pair. <laughs> that's pretty cute too. Oh, uh, now we have a card from Becky Jo, and look, it says Galentine's means gallons of hearts and wine. Lo ha ha, love, aloha, Becky Jo, with the beautiful pulley card. And she says she's still here. And if it weren't for the love of all her friends in the Griffinite community, that she would, she just, she values all of all of you and all of us. And that's just. So nice, big shout out. Now this is from Sharon. Uh, you have my heart so pretty with the mini, um, mini dies and there's a pretty little note and a book that she sent me of old fashioned postcards um, that are reproductions of really fun old things that we have here in my archive. Ah, oh, that's really nice of you to think of me, Sharon. Thank you. And, uh, and this is fun. This uh, card is from, is from Carol, and it says, Nothing says I love you like a piece of paper folded in half. <laughs> oh, and she loves these little mini um, embossing folders and dies that are back in stock here at Anna Griffin. Um, they'll be on our website very soon, just in a matter of days. So that's fun. The, the borders and the layers are back. Uh, I, I think that's wonderful. And look at this. This is so pretty. This uh, this textured paper that was the envelope and the the gatefold, and this from Angie. And she works at an interior design center, and she, it's this wallpaper. This is old wallpaper book from books. Oh, what a neat idea. I always wondered what people do with those. I mean, they, those sample books cost a fortune, and the papers are so wonderful. I love all that texture. Now this is from Sandra. Um, I have two cards from Sandra. So cute. Uh, very, very reminiscent of our, our first Valentine's that we did. I love that. And look at this, this, this as well. So card toppers and early, early papers. And she's so sweet. She says, happy Friday, happy Valentine's Day. You're loved and you are loved, and without you, where would we, we crafters be? You make it easy and beautiful. Um, and she says hi to Joe. That's so nice, uh, Sandra. That I, I have so many things from you that you have made me. I, I love each and every one of them. Uh, okay, now this is from Mary, and she made me a spinner card, and it did spin when I opened it, uh, and she loves the spinners, and the circle die was the perfect size to cut the centers of our paper. I think that's great. Thank you, Miss Mary. And oh, here's another Galentine's Day. So cute, ready? And it's a pop-up um, from Frida. That's so fun with the flower and the glittered hearts. And then this little Valentine's from my buddy Donna Lee. So pretty. Happy Valentine's with the stamp and everything. All die cut and just perfect. It looks like you've been working with your Cricut too. Uh, oh, and I have some Cricut things to show you. Okay, now this is this, this pop-up floral. Uh-huh. Yes, is from Teresa, and this, what's so fun about your letter, Teresa, is 
and that she, it's um, Teresa Howes who has a fudge company in Harbor Springs, Michigan, and she writes to me about it, and she sent us fudge for Valentine's, and we loved it, and you know what, I actually came um, very close to Harbor Springs. I was in Petoskey this past summer and I got to see fudge being made. And I love that your store is right there. So I do want to come visit. All right. Um, and I'm going to bring my friend Jeannie. Okay. Because <laughs> she has, she goes there every summer. Okay. Now look at this. These are from Teresa and they are so beautiful. The, um, all right, so fanciful concentric dies made into an easel card that, look at that, it's, it's joined by one of the borders and it's so pretty. And then the mini fretwork is even more gorgeous and all embossed and so, so beautifully crafted. So Teresa, that's Teresa number two, that we have Teresa House and Teresa Leiden's, um, lots of Teresa's. Okay. Now, speaking of Jeannie, look at this. So Jeannie sends me the cards that she made for our Skype call with Wildflower Garden. And how fun is this? Okay, now, of course, I can send them on because they are rip-roaring ready. Uh, oh, I love that uh, this. I didn't notice the gold the first time uh, that you had done that. And the kitty cats, my goodness. Yes, of course, that's happening at my house. <laughs> Oh, so Jeannie had a tip for all of us, and that was that our tape runners are invisible on the vellum, and she used rub-ons on the envelope. Uh, lots of fun teaching me things, Miss Jeannie. Now, this is from Joanna, and a big shout out to her. I love this. So, happy anniversary, sweetheart. And Joanna writes about, um, about she and her husband who's uh, recovering from a car accident. And I just think that this is amazing that you have the time to create something for me. And I uh, just want you to know how much I appreciate it. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, now a few more. Uh, this is from Roberta, and boy, is that a shiner. Look at that. Gorgeous, love, and matte, uh, matte not full-on metallic gold foil. There's nothing mad about that. Uh, and then Miss Laura, my friend Laura. Okay, now look at that. So beautiful, even with the antique Dresden, love is all you need. And then she's given me all these beautiful antique Valentines, and in her letter um, she she also is having some challenges and I just want you to know um, just that we're thinking about you and I'm sorry that you've had again so many things that have uh, interrupted your quality of life uh, is the way I can put that but just know that we're thinking about you and I can see your smiling face all right now Karen sent me um, a card with the snow globe stickers and she says it's for winter. It's a happy winter card, which once, she, look at this, there's a letter in the back. And then she sent this beautiful Galentine's Day card. And again, I love all the red. So Karen, it, oh right, I'm supposed to open the heart. There it is, there's candy in there. <laughs> so clever, so cute, I love it. Okay, and now this, okay, now this was so pretty. Um, I have to read you the, first I'm going to show you the card with the antique in the middle of all those beautiful frames. That's a lot of dies. Um, concentric, mini, mini, empress mini, lace, and then a cute little bow. I just think that's just so pretty. But look at this. There's a whole new group. And you have to know that it's the, the Texas chapter of the Annabelles. And, and that's Debbie and Linda and Tammy and Joy. And they um, have all gotten together, the four ladies, to be the craft, best crafting buddies ever. And they, they have been given the um, permission from Melissa and Felicia to be the Texas chapter of the Annabelles. And I just think that's adorable and, and, and that you wrote to me and sent me a card from your, your newly formed group. Oh, I have another thing from Joy that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, now this, oh, this is so pretty. All right, look at this. So this is one of our finishing schools, our charm school classes. And look, ready? Uh, both of these were last week. And this is, these are both from, um, I think it's, hang on. Yeah, it's Jerry. All right, 
Now, Jerry did something that even I hadn't thought of, and that was how to marry charm school and design space and the cricket to make the projects. And that was that was really neat. So the, let's just go back. So festooned frame dies, right, were, I think was the name of the die set we were using. She, that art is in design space. And then the print and cut for the flowers. And then she cut away the middle, just like we did in the tutorial. The same thing for the sentiment and the flowers. And she did everything with the cricket and even printed her anagriffin um, images for her letter. So that, that's ingenious. Okie dokie. Now, now this is from Regina and it's so pretty. Look at this. This is so pretty. The fans and the rosettes and all the colors and I just love how the older papers and the newer things all go together and this, that's over years and years. So, and look on the inside, so pretty. And it's there are some problems in this world Char chocolate alone cannot solve. That's why red wine and good friends like you are also needed. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> love it. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, now I have a card from Miss Eve. Now look at this. Happy Valentine's, uh, or Valentine's uh, to you, Miss Eve. That is so beautifully done. You're a master stamper. And Eve, we have not heard from you in so long, and I am so happy to have this from you and your master craftswoman you are so pretty okay now this card if you're part of finishing school you have seen this card already in our community because this came from Richard and he posted it and it's one of those um, the cards with the collars but adapted to be this beautiful holder for our um, square compendium dies and Look at that. There's even the doily die, um, tussy mussy class, and, and the 3D new square uh, embossing folders. And there's so many things. Richard, your craft room is overflowing with our stuff, I think. Oh, uh, so we love that. And the colors are so beautiful. And speaking of Richard, um, R Richard, I connected Richard with my friend Robert, and uh, look at Robert's Valentine's Me. This is so beautiful, and when you look at it up close, there are all these details that one would never see or have on anything except for something from Robert. But look at that, Dresden and old... Um, uh, letter cards and then the middle of it is embossed by itself and and then I even got uh, a custom envelope with three yards of fancy ribbon all tied in little flowers in pink. Now that's something. So pretty. Okay last but not least I have the most adorable cafe courtesy of Joy and the, the, the Texas Annabelles. Uh, look at this. It is so cute, and the, it's a card, too, right on the inside, and it stands, and there's a little fork and a piece of cake and a cup of coffee, and our window ledge dies, and she said that I must have meant, I, must, I don't remember saying this, but I must have mentioned something about the kit being like a dollhouse, and it spurred her on to make an outdoor cafe scene, and this is the first of many. And she made the window, and the awning, and the greenery, and the little flower pots, the whole thing. It was just amazing. So, Joy, you and, and um, Annabelle need to get together, um, Annabelle Cologne, that is, Joy Haddon, you guys are making some really amazing three-dimensional projects, and um, and I feel so lucky to have you send them to me. Uh, I'm going to have to put this out, uh, out in our office so everyone can see it. Thank you for an amazing Fan Mail Friday, everyone. Uh, lots of love to you, and, and uh, when I see you again, it'll be the very last uh, Fan Mail of February on the 28th. Uh, bye for now.